What is up everyone? Liger here, back in BeamNG Drive. Today I wanted to do something that I, I think personally I'm pretty good at. Um, make a drag car. Now I've already made a drag Cummins for you guys in the past, but that, you know, it's a Cummins, it's got a lot of torque anyways. I want to take, what what is this thing called again? The Moonhawk, I believe. Uh, yeah, the Moonhawk. And make it into just an all-around drag car with this body looking just like this. I want to take it and show you guys the stock variant. What speed it's going to pull to begin with. Let me go ahead and get everything all lined up for you guys. This is going to be a shorter video today, unfortunately. But I still want to try and upload daily for you guys. Just give you guys, 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 guys as much content as possible. Here's stock variant. Having a little bit of trouble getting it lined up. Oh, I want. Oh, I like that. It doesn't automatically just trip you for for jumping the line. Now it tells you to adjust. That's so nice. As you can see, a little bit of speed to it, but we can do a lot better than this. We know we can. Look at that. Sixteen point eight second quarter mile. We can do so much better than that. Let's go ahead and just get some basic tuning done. I like to show you guys everything that I do on here. Just in case you want to replicate it. There's nothing too hard about it. I definitely want to take this stupid bumper off. Uh, the normal front bumper is a bit too clean. Let's just leave it empty wheelie bar we're definitely gonna need one of those um pro or just normal i i th think the pro is the one yeah with the singular ball body meh we're not gonna do too much i yeah there, there's really no need for weight reduction or anything this thing's gonna have more than enough power if you guys decide you want to replicate this and go for it on your own that is perfectly fine but for me it's going to have more than enough power. Now, me personally, I want twin turbo skis because, oh, already listen to that rumble. Twin turbo skis. Sure, the spool up, but hey, that's why we're going to have a transmission break. Ooh. Um, performance stage four. Absolutely. Race ECU always. Red valve covers engine mounts. We're probably going to need the ultra heavy duty. Uh, I don't like to run NOS in my cars. I like to actually tune them to be able to do all of it on their own. Plus dealing with NOS and, and all of that chrome. Oh wow. Yeah, I think we're going to leave them sticking out of the hood. Exhaust. Fender. Oh. Let's see what the fender exit looks like. That doesn't look bad at all. Gonna have to change around the fenders though. Let's go back to the body, fender. Why? Well, l let's see what the cut fenders look like. Cut fenders are for the exhaust. Just wanted to be sure. I'm not sure what cut fender V2 means, but there is a hole for the exhaust. Maybe there's a, a bigger exhaust, because that hole looks kind of big. Nope, they look the same, I guess. No, actually, this one's a little bit smoother. That's alright. Hmm. Okay, now for the rear suspension. I'm not going to bother to change front tires. They'll do what they need to do. But as for the rear, we're going to need something a little bit bigger. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, let's let's get them in black. Just try and blend in, make the car. E I don't. I, there's not too much stock 
looking about this car. Only, you know, 16 wides on the rear. Just ridiculous car all around. Yep, we're going to need the drag tires. And the hood. Definitely going to need a cut hood. There it is. Alright. Uh, cow induction. Let's just do the normal cut hood. Oh, that is, that's not for the turbos. Oh. Maybe the hood that says twin turbo cut hood would be the one I need. It'd help if I read, you know? Okay. It's just gonna be a test pass. Okay, hold on. Before I even... I can just tell from the way the rear end is acting. Sway bar. That already looks a little bit better. It might lower the front end a little bit just to help it out. Welded. I want an open rear differential, and there's a reason for that in a game like Beam. Okay. We are going to need one last thing that I completely forgot about. Let's see how well this thing does now. Not extremely happy with that performance, but doctoring this up should be pretty easy. Wow, I did not realize how fast that car was. I was waiting for the other one to finish. Okay. So the front end needs to come down. Let's see, we got race. Race. I don't really care about the front sway bar too much. Um, oh, we're definitely going to need a little bit more boost. This thing's only got four gears. Friction, back pressure, ride height, none of it. That looks better. If this, other than the, you know, the, the friggin' massive turbos sticking out of the hood, if this rolled up next to me at the drag strip, I'd think about it. I think we'd all think about it. Go back to tuning. What I am looking for. Uh, okay, I guess it's not here. RPM limit, cut time, idle, apply, tow hitch, wheelie bar. What does the pro wheelie bar look like? Yeah, that's okay. So I did put on the wrong one. I want it low. Unfortunately, this engine puts out so much <laughs> torque that it's kind of hard to get a transmission that will. Yeah, this one doesn't even have a trans brake. I guarantee it won't shift. Automatic manual pro grip. Oh, I'll just have to go back with the automatic drag. I know some of you guys are going to be screaming at me in the comments for not doing a manual, but this car produces so much horsepower and torque, actually shifting it would be a nightmare. I don't even think I pulled a time there, I went so fast.
can say the stopping ability is not the greatest. Did I get disqualified for crossing the line? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm gonna switch out the tires if I'm not mistaken. want a little bit wider tires on it. Oh, I scrolled past them. Um, not that much wider, though. No, 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 no. Oh, those are wider than I thought they were. And we're going to, like, make this look somewhat normal. Okay, I'm going to take that as a no. Hmm. Do I have an 18? I do. Oh. Ooh, you talk about fitment. Okay, I'm going to have to pull them in just a little bit. That looks a little bit better. Let's see. Yeah, th those tires are definitely giving it away. Okay, a little bit of vibrating there. Six point nine seconds. I think I can get a flat out six if I can just get them tires to grip. Let's see. Did I did I put the best? I, I don't think there's any tire upgrades. No, there is not. Okay, let's try this again. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. I guess. Oh. I kind of wish that wouldn't automatically configure to my controller. To my controller. It didn't used to. So it wasn't a pain. I didn't get to see that time there, but that was definitely pretty quick. Why does my camera keep doing that? 6.6, .6, I know I can get it down. I have another pre-built version of this car that I've put a lot of time and tuning into. Now watch, I'm gonna get it out and it's gonna do worse. Um, trying to remember, is it this one? Unfortunately, I saved, like, this is definitely not it. Why did that do that? Oh, okay, my car won't turn back on. Do I got to...
this thing will not stop rolling. Um, I bet that's it. Spawn. Start the very strip. Okay, so compared to the stock car, start it. Okay, maybe you don't understand what I meant. Of course it's wanting to be a pain. I didn't do something right there. I definitely broke something in the rear end. Okay, let's try it again. Do I have two step on? I think in the update my two step got disabled. Just give me one second and I will get that fixed for you guys. Alright, I fixed my controls, I ran a test run, and <coughs> With enough time and tuning, I'm sure I could do better. But for right now, this is just going to be... I guess I'm going to... This car was never originally like this. It was the rusted body, like that one over there. But I'm going to call this thing the Red Rocket. Let me get lined up. Two-step, trans brake, let it go. It was a little sleepy on the launch there. But straight through... This thing is so controlled. Six point two seven. Let's try it one more time. So it's a bit much, but when you get it right, this thing is so fast. You got a two step and la and uh trans break still a little sleepy on the launch it's my fault oh I gotta do better than that for you guys that was that was horrible six point oh nine. Okay. One more time. I know I can hit the fives. I don't think I can get much faster than that. Oh, I think I saw the five. Oh, let's lock it up, lock it up. Don't crash. Oh, there's. I'm not gonna stop in time. Oh? 5.949. That is awesome. Yeah, I've put, a, I've put a lot of time into this car before the beam update. And it shows. Let's run it one more time. And through absolutely nothing. This car's a monster. Oh.
5.828. I don't think I can get any better, ladies and gentlemen. Well, on that note, I think I'm going to leave it here for you guys. Like I say, it was a bit of a shorter video, but I still tried to make something fun for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to go ahead and copy anything that I've done in this video, um, feel free to do so. Just This is just a little bit of a tutorial on how to get good at drag racing and beam. I'm going to do plenty of other vehicles in the future. I like making stupid cars. I'm thinking about making the Widgeon, or yeah, it's the Widgeon into a drag car. Um, one of my main rules on making drag cars is if I can't hit a 200 and a quarter mile, then I'm not happy with it. So I may have to wait till some more mods come out for this little thing. But until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.